Okay, so what's up folks? Here I am today to give you some quick tips on what you can do to make money. So if you look at the U.S. stock market for today, it probably looks pretty grim. Uh, commercial services down 3.32% and pretty much the only thing that is up is health services. So this might lead to a somewhat grim picture of what the uh, situation is out there when it comes to jobs. However, uh, the sort of starting place I would recommend going to uh, is go to your state's uh, unemployment website. So you just search unemployment and then whatever state you live in. So I happen to live in California. So from this site, um, you, you know, and each site is different, it's fairly uh, straightforward, you know, in the California site, you would just click the button file for unemployment. So obviously there's a lot of people who, you know, they have various different uh, talents or trades that they work in. One thing that I know is uh, for certain is the type of jobs that are going to be available. Again, if you look back here, you're gonna see that, like for instance, health services, so like they're, uh, a good place to start would be look at the career postings for places like, you know, hospitals or other health centers. Another great place is in sort of like food uh, or like uh, restaurants that specialize in it, like ready to go food. So, you, you know, like for instance, you'll notice retail trade or, you, you know, I don't know, I don't know, like, uh, so like retail trade, for instance, I'm just trying to see any other food-ish related things, but that's only down 0.29% today. Um, oh, consumer services, that was the one I was looking for, down 0.68% today. So those are examples of services which the need for them never goes away. I'm sure you've seen in the news places like Walmart, or Amazon.com are hiring and basically they just can't hire enough people fast enough. Those are examples of places you want to be looking at. And, in, you know, in addition, uh, they've just recently made it so that people can, you, you know, file for like, you know, unemployment uh, and like, you know, health benefits and stuff like that if they are independent contractors. So this is talking to a lot of people who are like Lyft or Uber drivers. So I'm gonna go on to a little bit more in-depth uh, stuff that you can be doing. I'm just gonna open up my OBS, make sure it's still recording, it is. And yeah, anyways, stuff that you can do to make sure that, you know, you know if you've already started working on all this stuff and you're like, but I need money. Great place to start, Craigslist. I know it's, you know, just kind of the most, you know, famous of the sort of job boards. So I'm in, you know, San Francisco Bay Area. Your area on Craigslist might be different. There's a ton of different places you can look on here. Um, for instance, services, it, you know, if you are, you know, good at moving stuff, if you're good at computers, um, you, you know, you can like post an advertisement and it's free there. Um, jobs, they've got a bunch of jobs right now. It might be a little bit more grim, um, but you, you know, this is a good sort of starting location. Another place that you might not immediately think of is Nextdoor. So this is normally a neighborhood website. However, once you log in, uh, so you join the neighborhood and they're gonna have to verify you by sending you a postcard in the mail. But once you've joined your neighborhood, um, you'll see that there's a lot of people who are looking for recommendations uh, from their neighbors. And you know, if you are able to do what they need help with, then you can direct message them and say that you are able to help them with their need. So this is, you know, a fantastic example of, you know, something you can do that will directly help other people. And again, getting back to the sectors in the stock market I was talking about, 
um, you, you can often use the stock market as, as a way of judging which types of services might be you know, best to get into. For instance, if we look on here and we see uh, non-energy minerals, so what they're talking about there is something like iron miners or coal miners. So this might not be the best time to try to get into one of those types of professions. And, you know, again, that's kind of ridiculous because not that many people are trying to get into that type of profession. But, I mean, like, for instance, look at finance. If you want to get into finance, which can range from anything from, like, you know, being a stockbroker, working in a bank, you know, stuff like that, that really is not a good time for that right now. Um, you, you know, minerals, uh, they're talking about stuff like sulfur, uh, you, you know, copper, which I guess to a certain extent is similar to non-energy. But I mean, again, you, you know, communication down 2%, like so that's anything news sort of related, uh, places like, you know, AT&T or stuff like that. Normally, you, you know, these are really good industries to get a job in. Definitely not right now. You want to be focusing on the sort of things that people need. So like, for instance, if someone has a laundry machine and the hose comes unscrewed from the back of the laundry machine or uh, unfastened or whatever you, you know there's probably not a ton of people who can use I don't know I don't know what you use like a th those funny looking wrenches that plumbers use uh, that you have to like twist that thing on or like you know uh, y you know there's just a lot of people who are really good at doing things that other people cannot do um, y y so that, that's, that's one thing you could consider. Um, another really great, uh, option for you is if you're into more creative stuff is Amazon has a way of doing direct publishing. So self-publish eBooks or paperbacks for free. And when they say for free, what they're not saying is you can charge as much as you want. So... You, you, you know, if you're saying like, oh, well, I'm not that creative and stuff, that doesn't matter. If, let's just say, for instance, you are really good at, you, you know, um, you're really good at taking care of people's lawns. You you mow lawns for a living. Uh, you, I don't know, fertilize lawns, all, all that stuff. Basically, you're going to try to make a and again, you, you know, you want to go with both ebooks and paperbacks and stuff like that. Make a book that's 100 pages long. And before you say, whoa, I'm not, I, I only type by, you, you know, I type each letter doing this on the keyboard. That's fine. What you do is you get, you get a doc, a Word document or, I don't know, get a Google, uh, Google Docs document. You have page one with the title. Page two has nothing on it. Page three has the index of all the pages in the book. Page four has, you know, it says like copyright and then your name. And then page, I don't know what page I'm on, page five or six or something like that, blank page. The next page is like the ch chapter one. And in chapter one, you're going to be talking about, you know, the really basic things. So uh, what is a lawn? And, y you know, again, I, I'm getting, I'm guessing that you're probably thinking, wow, that's stupid. Like, I don't uh, trim lawns for a living. But this, but lawn is the placeholder for anything that you are good at. And if you're like, if you're thinking like you're, you're not good at anything, we'll just consider what do you do for a living? Um, and, y you know, if in the morning you get out of bed and you put on some clothes, you know, think, well, I could make a book or an ebook on how to, you know, dress professionally within, you know, a certain type of trade. And again, I, I mean, you, you know, the, the extent to which you kind of think about how well you would do it, don't worry about that. The thing that you're trying to do here is you're not aiming for a quality, you know, book that you're making. What you're aiming for is some more money. And 
there's a lot of different ways of doing this type of thing. Um, so I'm just using ebooks or paperbacks as an example. There's also making YouTube videos. And all you need to make a YouTube video is a laptop with a webcam. Y you know, every little bit that you do, if you're trying to build a sort of professional sort of world, is all part of, you know, making more money for yourself. Uh, a lot of gamers, people who play video games, uh, live stream on twitch.tv. There's also YouTube gaming, and Microsoft has one named Mixer uh, with like two X's, so M-I-X-X-E-R. Th there's just a lot of opportunities. The main thing I'm trying to say here is don't waste any time you are only making money when you are working on developing a um, money-making operation. And that can either be through creative means um, or through more sort of conventional means uh, or through just like sort of, you know, working as hard as you can to try and find something to do. So I hope you all learned something from this video. If you did, it will help support me and also motivate me to continue making motivational videos in the future if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and definitely give this video a like, maybe share it with some of your friends, and I will see you all back in one of my next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.